Hey everybody, how's it going today? This is Michael, and I'm back with a little bit more Ogre. We're on number 9, Coastal Assault, which I have attempted a couple of times with varying degrees of success. So, uh, combined force of armored units and Ogres is a chance to wipe out a key command post, but friendly Ogres cannot be risked in the initial attack. Let's look. A uh, weak point in Nightfall's defense has been found. This command post is protected by a small force of Ogres. Also, the site of two broadcast centers controlled by the enemy. We can't risk our main force until we're sure they won't be able to interfere with our ogres. Broadcast facilities will recruit our ogres. So we got GEVs to take out the broadcast centers before we can actually land our ogre. So let's take a look at what we got here. We have a whole slew of howitzers. This is the command post back here. These are the broadcast centers here. We've got two Mark 1s here, and we've got a Mark 3 here. Our deployment zone is going to be along this lower line of hexes here in the water. So it's going to take us a turn to get to the shore and then a turn to get on. Or, well, we can do it in our second movement phase, actually. We have 12 points to deploy, GEVs only. And let's see, our condition is we have to destroy the broadcast centers and command posts. Special rules are that enemy units are surprised in the first turn and have a negative one defense. Absolutely no apparent helpfulness involved in that and we can only deploy our reinforcements when both broadcast centers are destroyed. I think our reinforcements uh, consist of a Mark IV which is going to start submerged, move kind of slowly and then be able to come on but it's going to have to approach these guys and we don't have enough GEVs to take that out. In fact we're going to have to do quite a bit of dodging about here. Uh, also I wanted to point out that Granite Penguin, who has been very helpful to me uh, while learning this game, has uh, started his own YouTube channel and has posted his first video, which happens to be on GEV movement. So go check that out. I think he's going to be covering some other units and hopefully will give us lots of good tutorials. So what do we got going on here? Well, we're going to get to deploy and then Nightfall is going to get to make a move which means they're going to get to take first shot at us which means they're going to destroy a number of our stinking GEVs already. These bastards have a range of eight unfortunately and I'm horrible at counting hex ranges but one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, like all the way out to here this guy can go, right? So I'm going to stack there's six there. And the problem over here is that our force is going to get largely wiped out before we even start. We've got a howitzer shooting. We've got two Mark 1s that are probably going to be able to shoot. Let's check these guys out. They have got their main thing as a range of three. Yeah, so their main battery is going to have a range of three, which means if they get to here, they will be able to reach, like, if he gets here, he'll be able to reach us, right? So I will have to do like that to be out of range of those guys, I believe. So there's six guys over here. There's six guys over here. Unfortunately, we got them stacked up, and so we're going to end up with somebody being very unhappy. What do I have here? Six. Show me only two there and three there. I want to check this out. No, there are three there. It just wasn't showing it to me. Okay, we're going to go ahead and deploy. Oh, uh, for Granite Pigman, there will be a link in my description about that. Oh, they sent it to Mark III over there. That's interesting. Every other time I've played it, they've sent it over here. Okay, that was from the Howitzer. And, yeah, so you've disabled and or destroyed some of my guys here. What do we got? Okay, one has been disabled, and over here... One of those has been disabled, but actually destroyed, I think, because we only seem to have two there now. Well, anyway, what can be done about it? We are just going to have to uh, reach the beach here. So I'm going to put everybody over this way. Being mindful of this nonsense. I'm going to leave them spread out, though. Okay, my goal is probably going to be to get them on the road here to get that movement bonus. Now, uh, what I'd like to do... Yeah. Uh, 
we have got to take out this howitzer. But I don't necessarily have to take out these guys. I could run uh, past these ogre guys. They're in a negative one defense, but I tell you, that doesn't mean anything, really. <laughs> I kind of suck at that actually doing anything good with these guys. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to push for up here and try to get around these guys. We'll save this other GV, which will hopefully become unconfused next turn, and we'll be able to actually come in and try to take out that howitzer. I would like to get rid of that howitzer. Yeah, we're going to go with this in phase, and now we're going to attack these howitzers. These howitzers takes a two or better to disable and a four or better to destroy, which is good. We just take this shot here, hopefully get a two. Um, yep. Took care of it in one shot, that is good news. Now, I would really like to take care of this one in one shot as well. Probably won't though. Oh, my goodness. Did manage to take it out, that is awesome. Okay, that's everything we can do, I'm gonna end phase. And now we've got our GV movement phase. Now this bugger has a move of three. One, two, three. He's not gonna come through that swamp though, but I think he can just roll over that. He's got those bloody missiles, so he's going to be seriously hurting us. But if I come over here, I might be able to stay out of his missile range, but I'm going to have to get up on the beach here, unfortunately, in that. By the way, puts our guy in range of this guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, that's going to be in range of that guy. Unfortunately. Let's do this. I guess we'll absorb. We're going to end up absorbing a howitzer shot with that one. I forgot about that howitzer up there. Very derpy of me. And this one, though. Let's stay out of this guy's range. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we'll be all right there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to him before he takes a shot at us next time. But we don't have that far to get to this CP over here, or to the, uh, to this guy. So if we can bring these ogres around, that might be, might be worth trying. We get him in the city, he gets a defensive bonus there. Nope, okay, I guess our boy is moving already. What do you got going on? We're just gonna destroy that. The howitzer shot there. Both of these Mark 1s. It's been disabled. But amazingly... Not destroyed. Okay, this one did get destroyed pro or uh, disabled, probably by that howitzer there. I've got this guy to move in. Um, I'll bring it here and we'll get it on the road next turn. But we should be able to get these guys up, take out this post, and then pull them back. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pull them back to the sea, actually. And I am going to bring all of them up. Should I bring all of them up? I think I have to, because I want to make sure that I get this guy. I almost wish it was a move and fire, so you could make decisions about your, uh, your firing uh, before you move. Okay, we've got this guy. Let's bring him over and take a shot at a Mark 1. Sorry about the road noise outside of my house, guys. Okay, we're gonna take through, uh, take a shot from that howitzer this turn, but fortunately, this Mark III has left us alone over here. I hate to do it. I'm gonna spread them out so they don't get spillover, but we should be able to get in range of that command post next turn, and if I could take out one of these main guns, that would be pretty good. Okay, so in phase, we're going to... 8 damage to building, automatic hit, 12 damage to building. That's going to take care of that building for us. So there's one of those broadcast setters out of the way. Try to... These guys are both on the road, huh? Alright, we'll just try to get this. It's going to be a, a 6 or better to hit it, but I'll try it. Oh my god! What the deuce? Um, I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm pretty happy about it. 
Alright, I think that is it. Is that it? Yes. Okay, so we can move this guy here. Can you guys get all the way back? Please tell me you can. Yeah, you can. Sweet. This other ogre is going to be in range next turn. He's going to take shots at us, but I'm not actually that worried about it. I think down here we're out of range of all the other howitzers. Unfortunately, these guys are not out of range of the other howitzers. I'm going to put them here. He can't destroy all of them. This guy can move one, two, three, and then have a range of three. So he can get up here and take a shot, too. I don't know. Well, I'm hoping that we can maybe have enough. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe he'll be confused by these guys. Either way, we got two other guys here who are not going to be... Uh, who are going to be able to do something soon. And that's pretty happy-making. Unfortunately, I can't get on shore without moving into combat with that guy, which I don't want to do. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to stay right here and hope this guy is dumb enough to try to come at me. Although, maybe he can try and overrun. I don't know. But if he does, I'm going to get shots at him. So is that all? I think that's all. It's in phase. Okay, yep, yeah, Mark three. He's going to destroy lots of dudes. There goes a howitzer shot. Totally destroyed. Okay, the Mark I stayed there. You can have it. I don't care. Right, the howitzer took that guy out. There goes a missile. Huh. But, they left my two guys over here alone. Now, I don't have enough firepower to destroy this guy on one go, unfortunately. But... Let me get him on the, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, maybe we got a shot from the howitzer too, I don't know. Let's see what we can do with these guys, we've only got two of them living still. Is there any point in trying to take out this guy's main batteries? I don't think so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that howitzer can hit us from all the way over here. I'm trying to find a way to be useful here. Let's come down here. Try to head towards this other howitzer. We'll leave this Mark III to focus on these guys if he wants to. Hopefully one of these survives the howitzer shot and can get in range. One, two, three. I'm probably not going to be able to get in range next time. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, odds of making this are pretty slim, but... We're gonna see. That's a eight damage to building. Okay, did we do that? Yeah, we did do that. So if only one of them survives next turn, we should be actually able to do something. Okay, let's end phase. And now we got a movement phase again. Is there any percentage in moving these guys? One of them's gonna get gatted by this guy, one of them's gonna get gatted by that guy. So I'm not real sure. Oh, but we do get this extra move up here. Okay, so we're going to go for this guy and try to bring in the other GD over here as reinforcements. This guy's going to take one of these out. That's no problem, though. Well, it is a problem, but what are you going to do about it? One thing I could hope to do is maybe move out of this guy's range. Let's check real quick. He's got a range of three, right? So he's going to move up to four because he's sitting on this road here. And then a range of three would give him... I would need to move like over here, but then there's another howitzer there. There's no chance to move back out of range fully, I don't think. I could get to where it's just in range of that one howitzer. And why don't I do that? rather than being in range of both howitzers. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so he's going to destroy both of these guys, no doubt. But at least he's focusing on them, rather than an active one. Okay, we got one left there. Yeah, he's destroyed. You get two shots? What the deuce?
Oh boy. I can't tell what's going on here. Uh, but I do have this guy able to move. Unfortunately, he's disabled, so there's no way I can get past anything over here. All I can do is hope to maybe take this guy out. I'm gonna park it right here. I shouldn't have done that. And this guy, should I pull him away? Might as well. I might be out of range of that ogre there. We're gonna try to take this guy out. Please give me a four. Oh, I got the worst possible fracking result. I did nothing to him. Okay, I think this is probably lost. But I do get to move... This guy. I don't want to move him there, do I? Is he okay there? You know what? I'm just going to stack him. It's fine. It's fine. I'll move into the city for the cover it can possibly provide, although 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's actually out of range. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. You can't tell. I thought I had it. I don't have it. Okay, yeah, you go over there. Yeah, 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 you guys go over there. Just leave me to deal with howitzers, that's fine. No doubt disabled. Yeah, that guy's disabled. This guy's gonna be a goner. Come on, man, I got two more to do. I have both of these GEVs available. We might, might be able to do this. Let's put them here like that. Oh, come on, guys. That's it. Only those two GVs left. End phase. Try to blow this bastard up. One or better. Target disabled. Two or better. Destroyed. Yeah, sure. Okay. So we still have two operative GVs in range of this, of this guy. And I don't think... Six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't think we're in range of that howitzer over there. So he's going to have to scramble to get in range to do anything to me here. And I should be able to, if this guy recovers next turn. Yes. I can get him in range of the command post. I cannot, unfortunately, get these guys in range of anything. Except that Alex are up there. But, come on, man. There we go. Our ogre and reinforcements can be deployed, although that looks a little bit buggy. Something buggy kind of happened. Okay, end phase. GEV movement. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, crap. Those are both going to be in range of that guy. Unfortunately, I can't get a defensive bonus. I was going to try to get up here and take out this howitzer. But in order to do it, I'm going to have to survive one day's worth of contact with this jerk. Um, but should I pull him back to the city or should I do that? Still in range of the howitzer, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, not? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to do that. We'll see. They're going to get roasted here. But I might get a second strike on them. Oh my god. That was horrible. Cool. And that was too. Both just wrecked. Okay, that was only a one though. GV movement phase nightfall? Oh no, it says reinforcements. Okay, deploy reinforcements, mark four. Where am I gonna put it? Is there any benefit to doing anything other than going up right here? I don't see it. I don't see the need to engage that mark three if I don't have to. Okay, so it is deployed. Click continue, and now we have our movement phase. 
Select a unit to move. So we can move only one hex. Okay. Click on a tile once to set a waypoint. Tries to confirm your move. So here's the problem. This is exactly the same thing that happened to me before. Is that this movement here seems bugged out. Let me try... Um, moving this guy. And now it's our fire phase. Alright. Maybe it's not bugged out. Well, there's nothing to fire with, so we're just going to end. And then GVs get to move again. I'll put it here. It's going to have to weather that, weather that thing again. But it can be... Yeah, it's going to get toasted. Oh, yeah. Two howitzers. Yeah. But I get to move this guy now. A whopping one hex. Why can't I do anything? Okay, I'm going to end the phase there. And now we have this guy coming. I didn't speed up this combat stuff. Okay, now's our movement phase. Can I please get on the road? Yes. Okay, good. You take your shot with that howitzer. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, end phase. Oh, a six? Nice, thank you. What did I lose? A uh, missile, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna move up to here. I think I should be in missile range of all of these things. So, let's do that. Let's get rid of this howitzer. And, yeah, a missile. And that's an automatic hit, resulting in destruction. I will take that. You, main battery, with a missile, please. Take that. Need a five or better to destroy, but I'm going to take another shot at it. Get myself down to just one thing to worry about here. Should probably save the missiles for the uh, howitzers up there, shouldn't I? No. i got to cut down my opposition here. God, bloody hell. Okay. One more time. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, let's try you. Okay. Well, at least his main battery is gone. But he's got all those secondaries. Alright. I don't know if I should stay and engage with them or not. We don't have anything else to do. Let's get there. So these guys are both going to come at me. We have got to survive long enough to get up there and take out that command post. And they are rolling scarily well. Come on. Come on, we got to be able to do this, man. Okay. I think that puts me in range, but what have I got left? I have no main battery. Do my secondary batteries work? No, apparently not. Oh boy, this is uh, scary. I've got to survive another round of their incredibly good rolling. Six, five, six, six? Really? Really? What the deuce, man? That's ridiculous. I have no batteries left. Holy crap. Well, I'll overrun this howitzer. It gets a shot on me, I guess, but... Yep. But I get to ram it. So, let's try that. Yep, destroyed. Okay. It's our fire phase, but I have nothing to fire with. I don't think. Do I? Yeah, no, I don't have anything to fire with. I'm going to try overrunning the CP if I can survive. It's taking me down to a one move, looks like. They're attacking my anti-personnel batteries. 
It's no fully grok, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna overrun this thing. And, uh, okay, we go right to the ramming phase. I like that. Come on. Did we do it? Oh, yeah, we did it. It was a dicey thing, though. I didn't exactly play that very well. But I'm happy I won. So anyway, uh, we're on to Mission 10 next, and be sure to go check out Granite Penguin. I'll have a description in the link. See you soon. Bye.